It's been touted as the safest big city. Today, Mayor de Blasio and the NYPD said crime is down in New York, but murders, robberies, and hate crimes all up across the five boroughs last year. CBS and CBS 2's Andrea Grimes takes a closer look tonight. It's a big problem top of mind in recent weeks. Anti-Semitic hate crimes across New York City jumped 26% in 2019 from 186 reported in 2018 to 234 in 2019. Obviously, we all want this crisis to end. Mayor de Blasio, NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea and top police brass discussed the rise in hate crimes in a news conference detailing final crime statistics for 2019. They say overall crime hit a record low with about 95,000 total incidents. Despite that, murder was up 7.8 percent from 2018, from 295 homicides to 318. Citywide shootings also up 2.9 percent. Robberies spiked 3.1 percent. Teenage robbery victims have increased almost 43 percent. Police say they're seeing a big jump in youth on youth robberies, especially for electronics. They hope a new NYPD youth strategy will help combat this and keep kids out of trouble. That includes a monthly youth forum between police and city agencies. Our goal is to help young people steer clear of a first act of criminal behavior, or if they've already stumbled, to guide them back to the right path. As for hate crimes, the commissioner announced for the first time they'll be including those numbers in each precinct's weekly ComStat report. The report details statistics in the seven major crime categories, along with historical data, all of which is available online for the public. The NYPD uses the data to help drive down crime spikes. The mayor says they also plan to keep increased police patrols in Jewish neighborhoods for as long as necessary. Outside the police Academy in College Point, Queens, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.